Welcome back to Ballhead and Metal, guys. Welcome back to another Voice of Basiprot Reaction School Revolution. Now, I don't think my brother is very aware of this band. It is a band of three Indonesian women okay. who started a metal band together. Mm -hmm. And they it's almost like a protest where they were not allowed to do this kind of thing. Uh, and they, they really like the genre of metal. And they'll do right. it in hijabs, which is really interesting. interesting. So there's going to be this juxtaposition of revolting uh what you're told to be and at the same time embracing your culture Culture and metal culture and metal. it's like it's like these two things so let's see what school or revolution is all i think about. you gave me a little bit of free phase before but anyway let's get into it before today you we talked about this band we talked about them yeah yeah let's hear it This is groovy as fuck. I like this. I'm in there. Uh, you, you give me some groovy stuff like this. I'm in there. I'm vibing with it. You can tell the production, you know, it's like they don't have the most amazing production, don't care. but don't the, care. The, the, the soul of the music is so there. Oh, this is dope. You know what? I reacted to a song from them last right. week. I actually got a copyright strike and it, we resolved the issue there. Right, right. But that song was really groovy and I instantly connected with it so much. I'm like 43 seconds in. I feel the rebel spirit. I, I, we haven't even got to words yet. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, for some reason, I never made this connection with this band before. I, I feel some Red Hot Chili Peppers and uh, some Rage Against the Machine Rage for some reason. Machine, yeah. uh, I, Which they don't sound anything like. They don't, for some reason, it just made me think of those bands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've never seen her have this almost like fast approach to the way she's doing the vocals. Yeah. Almost sounds like I'm like, just half rapping it. See, I, I loved the rapping part. When we're getting into the singing part, Obviously a young band, obviously young ladies who are super talented, and I'm pretty sure I wish them the best. I'm pretty sure they're going to grow as a band because what I'm hearing here musically is phenomenal. I just want that, her pick up those notes a little bit higher. Yeah, we are brothers. We're 100%. <laughs> because the last reaction, I said the, almost verbatim the same words. Really? Uh, that I, I support 100% what they represent. They represent women. In a country where it's, you know, my This best. girl owns it, man. She She's owns the it. boss. I love the fact the girl has a hijab and then the, uh, the jean jacket on top. It's just the, the elements of visual elements are so stark and so awesome. And then on top of that, yes, I think something they might be aware of as well is of that. Of course. It's, it's just, I think it's a matter of time. Yeah. yeah it's yeah. not even worth nitpicking. Her other vocal that they're rapping was really, really Dude, nice. Dude, they're shredding. Like, doo, 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 doo. I'm in there. <laughs> Don't try to 
what I was gonna do, I'm gonna rewind it a little bit. Yeah. For the solo. Right. Uh, just because I, I also wanted to talk about. Yeah. It, for me, it's nice to see. I think it's been a, a journey we went on since we really got serious about listening to heavy metal music or rock music. I wouldn't even call this necessarily heavy metal. I think rock, this is like rock. Yeah. Uh, the idea of hearing other cultures, other religions, other bands taking on a form of music that we love, putting their spin on it, their heart and soul into it. They are, as artists, expanding the metal community's horizons. Rock, rock. They're showing you rock, whatever this is, this sounds very metal to me. They're expanding your awareness of not only about their culture, their world, they're showing you how they view this rock scene from their window. And I think what I really appreciated about it musically is that the beauty of her language adding to the song. Again, for somebody like me who has an open mind, if I, I was always about the music first and lyrics second, but the um, music, the vocal melody is very important to me. And what she's doing here is drawing my attention to now figure out what the song is about. Obviously, if you look at all the imagery, it's pretty straightforward. It's, she's singing a couple of lines in English. She's letting you know what she's saying. But then you want to hear the rest of it. She's not giving you the full story. Like, you want to be informed? You want her angle? Go into it and learn about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I like, again, the visual imagery in their clothing, in their attitude, in their yeah. guitars. And the dolls, and then the ladies are doing this. I actually wish they took that idea and took it for a spin. And in the segments of the video, that the girls themselves were doing some kind of like artistic thing, reinforcing that idea of how women are treated. Yeah, 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 and it seems to be a common theme with this band. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and it comes very through, very, very genuine. That to me, that's the, one of the most important things. I, a band can lack something technically, but if it's genuine and it has heart, it has passion. Yeah, you, I gravitate towards that, and I have a liking. To or that. you could have a very strong and important message, but unfortunately, if musically you don't have anything to back it up. Let's be honest about it. People will not come to your concert. People will not support you because at the end of the day, it's still entertainment. People want to get their entertainment's worth of, you know, the value. And these girls are killing it. I agree. Are we going to talk about how groovy that bass is? <laughs> <laughs> the movie bass, and I also noticed something. That it's a very punk-influenced song where it's like it's all about attitude. It's there's not a lot of change-ups going on. They're minimal. They are happening there, but the whole thing is about chugging it away and going there. It's a very punk attitude. And I, I, I'm loving the bass, the drums, the because well, we talked about the guitar and how much right. we like the solo. The solo is really nice. Yeah, uh, they're really this in terms of music. There's no weak link to me. No, there's not weak link. And I can only imagine, I'm very excited to see, because from now on, I'm a fan. I'm yeah. going to be following this band. I'll be very curious to see what they turn into in four or five years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man, let's just wait for it. It's a, a tornado happening to, uh, you know, waiting to happen. I agree. I don't think they even have one full album yet. Wow.
Yeah, this was kick ass. I gotta say something that I really enjoyed about this video. We understand what the subject matter is, what they're thinking about, the victimization of women, but they don't look like victims. They look here and they're giving you this message. And I think it was a very conscious effort on the uh, video producer to have them look into the camera. They look into the camera and to you as a listener, they signal is like, hey, pay attention to me. I'm trying to tell you something important. They're not pleading to your senses with some kind of like weak moment, like, oh, look at us. We're being there. It's a very strong message, but very strong three young women. And I really appreciate it. And I'm guessing the school of revolution, since you mentioned the idea of, of uh, victimization of women, I'm guessing is the idea of education, education for women. Yeah. Um, which, you know, in a, a lot of parts of the world can be limiting. I know, I know in Indonesia, it's not as harsh, you know, as maybe some other places. Right. I'm not going to, you know, start naming every place, but perhaps these girls are singing about a problem that's preparing to them. Right. And I just heard from stories of people in the comments of know, who know their history that, like, some of these girls were locked in the bathrooms because they wouldn't, our parents wouldn't want them to play guitar. Yeah. And Because uh, they were afraid of them or they were against that? Against it. Uh -huh. And something our father said, I've always remembered, our father always tells us that you should nurture and grow a kid's career curiosity yeah. and the love for something. Yeah. If they're into art, if they're into fighting, and if they're into playing guitar, nurture that talent within the child to really have them spiritually grow, yeah. as well as potentially something to have a career out of something that they enjoy. Because yeah. there's no better thing than doing something that you love for yeah. a living. I just look, as, as a metal fan, as somebody who's been listening for a very, very long time, uh, I'm humbled once again to hear three young, talented, beautiful women who come in and they're, they surprise you. They offer something that you haven't heard before or a combination of sounds that you've heard before, but in a delivery that's new once again. It is, you guys, you have to understand how competitive it is, how many bands out there, I always talk about it with my brother, how many talented small Russian bands are out there that you can understand they have potential and they want to grow musically, but they're just not allowed to because there's so much competition. Yeah. And here you go, you know, women, I don't know how musical metal scene is over there. I don't know how hard it is for them to break through, but I imagine it's pretty tough. Yeah. And for them to be able to pull this off with barely an album under their belt, it's freaking amazing. We as a metal community should elevate them. That's a gift to us. I agree. And I think that's where a part of a reactor, a part of somebody who writes a blog or a website yeah. is to talk about music like this and promote it. That's your because, responsibility. Yeah. yeah, because if if even if I me doing this reaction will really expose it to two more people that have never heard of them before, it's already a positive thing for these girls because I think they deserve the attention. Absolutely. I think they deserve to be bigger than the even they are now and just keep growing I, like i said i'm a fan as well super talented just badasses i, I became a fan from this one video uh and I, as you guys know this is my third one uh so guys let me know your reactions to this song perhaps maybe you can give us some context on the lyrics uh, yeah that's what i was curious about if we're too lazy to google it i mean <laughs> we can it's like two clicks away we're asking people i guess i always do it on my star wars channel guys because uh Yes, obviously, everybody can Google it and just see it in 25 seconds. But as you preparing to record your next video, at the same time, what you want to do is you release a video and you want to engage your community. You want to un make your audience understand that this channel is not just about us. We want your opinion. You want we want your feedback. Maybe you have a certain spin on the lyrics that we can't get from Google. It's a lot of people don't also sometimes we don't think of it this way. Some reactors don't think of it this way. Uh, your channel, Star Wars Timeline, my channel. The idea is to create a community. A Bring community, people together. It's uh, not just my voice. Si Single-minded people in the yeah. same idea that we love come yeah. together to talk about the things that we love. Yeah. And everybody should have the space, the room to talk about whatever they want. Yeah. Uh, on that note, guys, again, make sure you take care of yourselves. Stay healthy out there. And most of all, what? Keep it metal. Keep it metal.